Hello everybody, June 16th, 2023. Time is about 0745 CDT and it is GeoRant time, GeoRant number 203. Now I'm just gonna do a little show and tell today. Uh, rocks I found along the shore of Lake Superior, Western Shore Esty Park, I believe is what it's called. I can never remember. Anyway, the it'll be linked below if you wanna take a look at it. It's right on the shore. It's actually more on the yeah, north end of the Keweenaw, because Keweenaw kind of does this number, but it's still technically west side, I guess. Anyway, so most of you know about the Mid-Continent Rift, if you've watched me. Well, this area here is still, we're still in the volcanics, the Portage Lake volcanics. Now, those have been formally named, but none of the individual flows within have. Oh, that's my gas. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for the seven alerts in a row. Um, so, we're still in the volcanics. Now, at this particular outcrop is interesting because I'm not confident the rock is technically a basalt. It might be more of an andesite, and I'll show you why in a second. But the stuff is amygdala, and I can never pronounce that. Also linked below. So what happens is a lot of minerals fill the pores or the, or the gassy, ex-gaseous spaces. But I don't think this is necessarily it. I'm going to show you these. Feel free to guess at them if you want, because I have no clue what they are. I'm not asking you to identify them. I'm going to do lab tests, but I know people like to do that, so have at it. Now, see, here's the rock itself. You see, it's it's not gray. That's more the real color. Sorry to adjust it. It's got kind of a purplish, pinkish hue to it. Obviously, you see, and this is the big pink things are what I'm talking about here. You see this mineral? Look at that. Yeah, it's, it, that's not really, it's more, but look, see, that's more of its true color. Now, you see that it looks bladed and it's big and it crystallized out of the melt, probably close to initially. It's not filling pore spaces, but I have better examples of that, which I'll show you here at the end on a bigger rock. But the reason why we can tell that is because it looks rounded, the edges, and almost like some of it's been reabsorbed. We have pieces in it. So this isn't like a ga ex-gaseous uh, pocket that has filled like the green here is, which is probably, in this case, an epidote. But anyway, or it's a copper mineral of some sort. I can't, I haven't done any tests on this at all. Me saying this is closer to an andesite than a basalt is a guess. I will consult the maps and see if it is. And obviously it wasn't completely in place, but it's close because you see rocks in situ at this location with the same property. So it came from around there within a few dozen meters. So it is from there, but the thing is, I don't really know. <laughs> so like I said, I'm gonna do some tests on it. It is bladed and radial looking. We'll just say that. Now, I do have my suspicions, but it can actually be a lot of things. You can even get feldspars that do that, but on rare occasions. But I don't think it is. Like I said, I had to do tests because you look at this rock and you can see the radio patterns so much better. Look at that. They're so much better preserved. And even if this rock is an andesite, I just want to say it has a lot of iron in it. It's uh, in magnesium because, you know, uh, mafic minerals weather first. And you can tell that they're weathering out pretty much fast. And I would say they're close to about 20%, if not one third of the rock mass of this thing. So this thing, even though it may be an andesite, might be loaded with mafix. So that's why I got to do some tests. But I just thought you might want to look at those again bit more again there you go oh, let me pull it out so you can see it better so it's not so hazy not hazy but you know blurry so i just thought i'd sit there and let you look at it okay this is coming up on five minutes but anyway that's it if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and i hope you guys learned something